Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be trying out this really cool color changing black and green blush and lipstick. I know. What the hell? These have been floating around on the internet for a little while now and I've been feeling super skeptical about whether or not they work and it's the festive season and I'm in the mood to film something a little bit different. So yeah, we're going to be testing these out. So like I said, it's literally a bright green lipstick and a bright green blush that turn pink. Apparently they react with the pH of your skin according to the packaging, I don't know, to create perfect petal pink shade. I've also got a black blush that apparently turns to like a pinky reddy kind of color. I'm, I'm really fascinated and curious about this so yeah we're gonna try these out today in this super quick video just having some fun and doing something different. So let's start with the green one first. This is by Lipstick Queen. It says you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find a prince. Oh girl. <laughs> Don't I know it? Guys, you should see some of my ex-boyfriends. Oh, lordy. <laughs> oh my gosh, they've got pink packaging. How cool is that? So this is the Frog Prince Cream Blush. Oh my god, they're not kidding when they say it's green. Oh, are we really going to put this on my face? And then the lipstick comes in a pink little package as well. Frog Prince Lipstick. Okay, is anyone else feeling major skeptical at this point? How the hell does that change color? I don't know. And I don't want to swatch it until after we've tried it on the face because I like, I want to like legitimately have like a full on honest first impression. Whoa. And then the other one that I've got here is also by Lipstick Queen, the Black Lace Rabbit Blush. Now these are both cream blushes. So I've applied, you know, cream contour, concealer and all of that and I haven't powdered. Oh, this one's got like shimmers in it. It's definitely black, but it looks like it's got like little shimmers in it. So here is a close up look at the three products. How bizarre. I wonder how like at a chemical level that these actually change color on your skin. Now there's no real instructions on the packaging. So I'm assuming that you just apply it the same way that you would apply any other cream blush. I typically like duo fiber brushes for cream blush. Brush for cream, blush, brush for brush. Yeah, tongue twister. I'm going in. Oh my gosh, I'm rubbing my brush in this and it's turning pink on my brush. Hang on a minute, the packaging says that it reacts with the pH of my skin. There's no skin on this brush, it's clean. Maybe it reacts with like friction. Like seriously, look, I'm rubbing my brush and the bristles are turning pink. That is so weird. All right, let's try applying this. Oh, oh my gosh. Actually, I'll zoom in so you can see better. Look how pretty that is looking on my skin. It's beautiful. Oh, I like, oh, that is beautiful. Look how natural and pretty that looks. You wouldn't need a highlight. So we've gone from this to this. So weird. And like, look, when you rub a finger in it, it's like got like a weird green tinge at the start, but it definitely changes color to like this beautiful pink. Oh my God. Can you see that? It's like got like this weird green tinge to it. And then it slowly changes color into a pink. I just can't get over how pretty that looks as well. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, let's try out the black one next. I'm so excited. I've got a clean uh, Stuo Fiber stippling brush. Let's do this. Okay. Changing color like the last one. Oh my god, it is. Uh, look, probably can't see it yet. Oh my gosh, it's coming off pink on my brush. How does this happen? We'll apply this one on the cheeks. Oh, this one's actually a very similar color. Oh, pretty and natural though. How pretty do they look? Oh, lipstick queen. I would kiss a frog for you. <laughs> Look how soft and pretty and natural and flushed my skin is looking. And it came from this. Um, yeah, it stained the hell out of my finger. Okay, cool. And the last thing that we've got to try is the lipstick and it's like full green, full green. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. So this is definitely going on with a bit of a green tinge. Oh, look at it changing color. No way. Oh my God. It's definitely changing color. 
it changes color almost instantly. At the start, it leaves like a bit of like a green tinge, but that slowly disappears and turns into this beautiful rosy pink. I just can't believe how pretty that blush looks. <gasps> if I had to choose, I probably prefer the green one over the black one because I feel like the color that the green one, so this is the swatch of the green one here. I feel like the color that the green one turns into is a prettier color than the one that the black turns into. And I mean, it just looks incredible on the skin, despite the fact that it's a color changing blush and the whole purpose of it is it kind of to be a novelty. This is actually one of my favorite cream blushes that I've, like, cream blush finish that I've ever had on my skin. It looks really, really pretty and soft and just radiant and healthy. Me like. So would I repurchase? The green one? Definitely. I could see myself using this every single day. The black one's cool, but I probably wouldn't use it. I don't, yeah, I don't think I'd use it every day because it kind of... It's just a little bit darker and it's just a little bit, I don't know, maybe maybe a little bit dirty on the skin, maybe? And I swear that this lipstick is continuing to darken and get rosier and pinker the longer I'm wearing it. Can you guys see that? Look how nice that is. So those are my thoughts on the Lipstick Queen color changing green and black blushes and lipstick. I honestly think that they're really cool. Um, I'm not really one to go for like novelty products when it comes to makeup. I'm like hardcore. Does it do the job that I want it to? But... These actually do. And I mean, look at this color on my lips. I love it. I've got nothing on my lips. Like if this is all just a stain, I've got nothing there. So I hope you really enjoyed today's video and watching something a little bit different here on my channel. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I love you guys so, so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.